it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. A while ago, Fiskars sent me a box full of their products and they sent me punches. I've had these punches, these round corner punches for years and they still work great and these are honestly the only Fiskars punches I've ever tried and since they sent me so many different kinds, I wanted to make a video about them and take you along with me. I'm new to them, but maybe you aren't. I don't know if you've tried any of these. Let me know in the comments below. But I'm really curious to see how they work and I'm gonna open them with you. We're just gonna go on this punch adventure together. And for the record, this video is not sponsored, but hey Fiskars, I'm, you know, call me. People don't do this anymore, do they? It's more like call me on the smartphone. <laughs> email me, email me, the email's in the description. Is this working? So obviously these opinions and this first impression are my own, but even if it was sponsored, I still tell you guys my honest opinion about things. So regardless, let's get into these. But wait, before we get into it, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And all right, now let's really get into it. First, let's open this extra large easy squeeze punch, two times easier, designed to reduce the effort needed to punch. So let's uh, test this bad boy out on a piece of cardstock. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay, now I have some really little bow ties to make. All right, I think I know how to do this and I'm pretty sure I can figure this out because I am a DIYer. Should have put my macro lens on for this, it's so tiny. I'm using some tape, but it probably would work a little bit better with just a dot of glue. This tape is bigger than the actual bow. <laughs> with one punch, you can make a bunch of little bows, which I guess would be pretty handy if you need to make a bunch of little bows. Next, I'm gonna try out this tag maker. Punch the shape, punch the hole, and set the eyelet all within this one machine. So here are the eyelets that it comes with. Let's uh, try this side. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I guess you can do both at the same time. Ooh. Looks like there's some oil in it, probably to oil the punch. Punch the hole. Step two, in. Whoop. Put your tag on. Put your tag on. There you go. Okay. And punch. Nope, okay, didn't punch hard enough. Let's punch that first. Oh, and I just popped it out of the tag. We're supposed to do one side first, but it keep the tag, it keeps popping off. If anyone in the comments could tell me how to do this tag, why is this so difficult for me? Let's try something else and come back to that. Next, uh, it's a pointed succulent 4XL lever punch. Actually, I think I'm supposed to put those shapes together to make a succulent. At first I thought they were leaves. I think I just assume now that anything wrapped in plastic is gonna be difficult to open, but it's just me. Here we go. Slide it out. Wait, here we go. I need to punch a lot of these, I'll be right back. Sit down for this one. I punched the green cardstock five times to make all the succulent parts. And I'm going to put them together with this sample adhesive tape that I got from Tombow. Again, not sponsored. Let's see if I can manage this. It's like a puzzle. Probably helps to zhuzh these a little, curl them up, make it look more like a succulent. Could make a good gift topper, gift bow, some kind of paper decor. So there's that punch. Let's try the 3D triangle punch perfect shapes every time. And just about all of these have a lifetime warranty. So that's I actually believe that because my round corner punches have lasted for years. I've had them forever and they, they still work just as they did when I got them. On the packaging, it shows a gift idea 
You can make one of these and put a little Hershey kiss in it or other kiss, hashtag not sponsored by Hershey, but all right. It also has a little holder for the paper bits that come out. So I have to make these score lines on my own. It's good to have the little template on the handle. I'm just gonna follow that. Let me get my little cutting mat out here. Got a table with a drawer now, so that's handy. They also did give me a bone folder or score tool, so I'm gonna get that. And again, thank you Fiskars for sending all this stuff. I'm not used to using one that's like this. Maybe it's easier if you put your fingers like this. That kind of feels ergonomic. Okay, got that line. Yeah, maybe that's how you're supposed to use this. Now we got our triangle template and it's time to fold it and see what it looks like in 3D. I'm gonna try putting tape on these. I'm actually looking forward to this because I like geometric shapes. So this punch is right up my alley. Here is my 3D triangle. I would totally make a bunch of 3D triangles with that punch. I think I would probably use this punch the most out of all of them. Thanks again to Fiskars for sending me this stuff. And I hope you guys found this somewhat enjoyable or interesting maybe informative. Let me know what you would make with these punches in the comments below. And if there are any other uh, DIY art or craft supplies that you would like me to try out, let me know down there as well. If you're interested in any of these products, I will put the links in the video description below. And also while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. If you're interested in supporting my channel, I also have a Patreon page. I'll put that around here. You can get fun rewards and I will also link that down below. And if you want to check out another video where I'm testing out some supplies that I've never tried before, check out this Ikea pens video right here. That is also not sponsored, but hey, Ikea. So I will also link that down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.